Right, this is the Smart for two 450 2003 car and I just wanted to make you a little video on how I set the timing. Now, I haven't got any manuals or anything to do this, but you know, I've worked on engines for quite a long time, so I've got a fairly basic idea of how things work. But while it's not put together this at the moment, this is all just um, assembled to show you what, what it should look like. Now, if you look down here on the, on the actual pulley, the crank pulley itself, you'll notice it's not fastened on. You'll see that there's a red line there what I've drawn. But right in the very bottom corner of that pulley, there's a groove. Just right there. I've just highlighted it in red. But yeah, you can see it'll groove. And on the timing, and on the timing cover itself, you'll see there's a notch here. There's a little protrusion just there. So when it's all assembled, you're aiming for that notch in the pulley to be lined up with this protrusion on the timing cover. So now I'll pull this pulley off. Just bear with me a minute. Pull this pulley off, and you'll also notice that um, the 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 Woodruff key in the crank is pointing directly upwards. As the engine stood here, it's pointing directly upwards at twelve o'clock. And when it's pointing directly upwards at twelve o'clock, the piston on number one cylinder here piston on number one cylinder is at top dead center it's right at the very top and it's rocking if you turn if you turn if you turn the 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 cam sprocket slightly by hand you can move it slightly by hand when the chains are not on and and you'll see that it's just starting to rock on the valve it's let go of one valve and it's starting to compress the other and there's a little slight free space and you want to be in that free space and when you're in that free space that line there, what you can see on that half set on that circle on the crank sprocket, when you line it up level, you'll find that that is halfway on the top of the cylinder head. It's not all the way up. It's not to there, so it's all showing. Only half of it is showing. Let's excuse me, wobbly hand. Only half of it is showing. So you don't need the whole thing showing. Just half of it. And I've put a red line there so you can see what you're looking for. When you look down there it'll be halfway through it's half moon you want to see that when you're looking directly flat across that'll give you an indication that that's correct because the valves will be rocking inletting the exhaust valves will be rocking and it's on the compression stroke and you'll find that the arrow then is pointing when the engine's got the sump on it that will be pointing directly up but at the moment it's not got the sump on so it's sitting flat so let me just take the um just bear with me one moment just bear with me one moment and we'll take the we'll take the timing cover off. Right, you'll see now what you're aiming for. You put your chain on. You don't need to. You can do it all with the head on. So you'll 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 just line your sprocket up. You'll know it's at top dead center when that's at top dead center. When that's there, your piston's at top dead center, and you'll also see that that half moon is directly in line like so like that with the cylinder head so you now know that that's all top dead center the valves are rocking it's just at the slack right at the very slack it, it'll just move like that you can turn it by hand just like that so you must make sure that this part of your chain is tight so this is tight fold it round your sprocket and then just push your tensioner in and it'll it'll hold the whole thing tight this is all tight now this is all tight so that's just a little bit of slack there but that that when it when it when it takes the strain when it takes the strain that that will tighten up so that's just because it's not being used yet and it's it's not tensioned up so that's what you're aiming for now what I, what I, what I did notice the the oil pump sprocket just slides on it slides over that it slides onto that key and it's free spins on here that 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 sprocket there is not locked onto this woodruff key it's only this sprocket and the pulley nut because i was a little bit puzzled as to why that would be free turning i, I would have thought they would have extended the woodruff key to fit that sprocket as well so it would all be locked in together but i worked out that once the pulley's on once let's get the pulley back on
once you pull that once you pull that pulling up in it'll it, it pushes it all it tightens it with the pressure from this from this um from this pulling up so that's where we are at the moment tension is on the new timing chains on so the timing was quite easy to set up it's quite easy to see when number one pistons at top dead, dead center because you can just run a straight edge across the top of your piston and if you just turn the pulley if you put the pulley on you can turn it and you, you can just rock it and you'll see it, it's just right on the top you'll see the piston lifting and lowering like that it'll just lift and lower and get it so that it's a top dead center then just fit loosely fit your timing cover you'll make sure that the, you'll make sure that the little the little notch is lined up with the notch in the timing cover that will be pointing to 12 o'clock and that will be pointing halfway down on the half moon there so it's really really very very easy to time this engine up um, you don't want to be one tooth out if you can see all of that hole if you if you was looking at it for example and it was like that then you're going to be one tooth out and and same as if, if, if you couldn't see it, if it was down below it like that you would be one tooth out when you've got the correct tooth It'll only be halfway like that, like that is. It's just halfway. So that's what you need to look for. And like I said, it's very, very simple to to, to time this engine up. So um, I hope you found it a little bit useful, this video. You'll have to excuse the amateur video, but that's what we've got and that's how we work. So thanks for watching.